good morning and happy six months. Um, I'm a little tired today, but feeling all right. Um, we we stayed up just a little later than normal last night because you know extra candy, so that that good sugar rush, I guess. Um, so even though I didn't get quite as much sleep, I'm feeling okay. Whatever I've been feeling the past few days where I've been like super sluggish and just having a hard time, like I just felt really run down and even a little achy. I don't feel as bad today. Um, I'm not going to say I'm 100%, but it's better. Also, my shoulder is noticeably better, so hopefully that'll keep getting better. I keep saying better. I also ran back by uh, the Dollar Tree this morning. <clears throat> in in my quest for cream sodas and it looked just like it did Wednesday um, those air warhead something drinks um, were taking up a big chunk of the shelf and they had the the grape or whatever it was of the the spreacher and I got disappointed and I'm walking to the front of the store and I just went the heck with it and I walked up to somebody else like hey these Spreadshirt Cream Sodas, you haven't had any on, any on the shelf this week. Because I was here Wednesday looking. She said, I remember you. I saw you come in. I said, do you all have some in the back? And she said, yeah. I was like, can I have some, please? She said, how many do you want? I said, I'll take four. She went back two or three minutes later, comes up and hands me four. I was like, great. Just need to talk to people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm stocked up on Cream Sodas again. I'm not reading from the Hebrew calendar book today, but I did uh, take the time to, to Google because today is, while well, it's the first day of the month for us, in the Hebrew calendar, today is the last day of the month. Uh, so tomorrow will start the first day, and that corresponds with the new moon, not the full moon. So I, I did get that wrong initially. Um, so yeah, moon phases, starting the new moon, new month. Uh, which in Hebrew, if I remember right, is Chodesh. Chodesh is new moon or month. So now I know why that's significant because that's what the calendar is based on. The whole time I was studying Hebrew, didn't realize that. So yeah, tomorrow we'll start the Chodesh. But with Tozer, we'll start with the first of the month. And this one is titled, Once and for All. And this verse is from Hebrews 10, verse 10. We have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The blood of Jesus Christ is of infinite value. The pouring out of blood indicates the termination of life. Because the blood of Jesus Christ, the eternal Son, the Lamb of God, was poured out, our acts of sin may be pardoned. In the Old Testament, the sacrifices and offerings and the poured out blood of animals were, oh, I can't say this word, effic efficacious? Effic hey Google, what does efficacious mean? Here's the definition of efficacious, formal, of something inanimate or abstract, successful in producing a desired or intended result, effective. Okay. Um, I don't know if you could hear that, but produces the intended result, it's effective. Okay. So the death of Jesus Christ was efficacious actually and eternally. Oh, here's a note. Efficacious is a word theologians like to use. It simply means that it works. It is effective. You can count on it. I appreciate him defining it. I wish I'd read an extra sentence before I Googled it. Okay. When Jesus poured out his blood on Calvary, he guaranteed eternal redemption to all who would put their trust in him. The atoning, vicarious death of Jesus Christ for sinful humanity is at the very foundation of the Christian faith. For those who think they can find a better way than God's way, it is not a popular teaching. But there is no other way. Jesus is the only way. And then the prayer is, Lord, I praise you for your all-sufficient sacrifice on the cross. How wonderful you are and how great is your work of salvation. May I always be grateful for all that you have done. Amen. Okay. Now we'll read just a small bit of scripture. Um, and 
I'm pulling Robert Alter off the shelf. So I know there's a glare of the writings. So you remember the Tanakh is the Torah, the law, Navaim, which is prophets, and then Ketuvim, the writings. So that three letter root is Katav, which means to carve or to write, which I think is fun because I assume that was that, that word was created when they were having to carve into the stone tablets. So katav is to carve or to write. And if you if you make it plural, ketuvim, I guess you're changing a vowel there too, but you get the writings. So anyway, we're in here. I'm going to start on the beginning of Psalm 37 for David. And it says, Do not be incensed by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. For like grass they will quickly wither, and like green grass they will fade. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and keep faith. Take pleasure in the Lord, that he grant you your heart's desire. Direct your way to the Lord. Trust him and he will act. And he will bring forth your cause like the light, and your justice like high noon. Be still before the Lord and await him. Do not be incensed by him who prospers, by the man who devises schemes. Let go of wrath and forsake rage. Do not be incensed to do evil. For evildoers will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And very soon the wicked will be no more. You will look at his place, he'll be gone. And the poor shall inherit the earth and take pleasure from great well-being. And that probably is better for me than it is for you. Because I'm the type of person that I get riled up when someone does somewhat to me, but mostly to someone I love a lot. Uh, so like Jacob or you. I get riled up and it's just it's so hard not to just snatch them up. I want to get my hands on them. So that that's really good for me to read because that is not my place. As much as I want it to be, it's not my place. So um, not, that, not that there's constant things going on, but it is so easy when something happens to just get riled up in the instant of the moment, and not really think it over. You're not gonna sit down and pray about it. You just have that fire in your belly and you just wanna act. Um, Part of it's to protect, part of it's just, you know, I, I guess to avenge a loved one. But anyway, we'll, we'll call it there. I think I've talked long enough for you this morning. I kind of want to do another Hebrew lesson later. We'll see. I don't know how you're feeling today, but I'd like to cover a few more letters so that we can start looking at, at uh, a wider span of vocab words. I, I'm more excited about getting words down so we can actually look into the verses and, and and, and translate and, and read some Hebrew, actually. But anyway, I will talk to you later, and I love you.